from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. with the rush. Let's get started, it's time for Hot Topics. Before the show starts, you cannot imagine the amount of screaming going on behind the scenes. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Before that, it's silent. I'm reading the newspaper, I've got my readers on, I've got my robe on, you know, I'm talking on the phone, I'm relaxing, like, oh, it's just a, you know, it's a show, I got it. Nine minutes, nine minutes. Two minutes. Pardon the Jolly Rancher, but that, that's what comes with 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I'm like, oh, okay, go. Anyway, so we all woke up this morning with the horrible news that happened overnight, that mass gun shooting at the Bar and Grill in California. Um, they were hosting there in Thousand Oaks, which is about 40 minutes outside of Los Angeles. They were hosting their college country music night. 18 and above. How old's your kid? Mine's 18, I feel a ways. Mm. I always feel a ways, but I feel particularly a ways. 13 people were killed, including the gunman and one sheriff. No comment. I'm not crying, I'm misty. Mm. Yeah, you catch the mist with Q-tip. And now how do we go on to the rest of our topics? I, okay, 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 okay. Woo, okay, okay. So I wanna shout out to Missy Elliott, who I love. She's a cancer like me. She also has thyroid disease like me. Graves disease like me. I love her. Oh. Damn, you got that shot. Good, camera person. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All I'm saying is, when will it stop? And I think that it's more mental illness than anything. Yes, yes. I don't believe terrorism. They, they still have to investigate. Yes. But the mental illness has got people on the loose and being ignored. Bless you, Suzanne. <laughs> 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 Suzanne, your kids aren't of that age. I know. It's, it's, it's terrible, and I agree. When is it going to stop? It's like every day we wake up to a new tragedy, and it's horrible. How do we do our happy, cheap, and cheerful show? We, we got to go on. We got to make everyone smile. We got to yep. do it. Yep. We can do it. Yep. We got to do it. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. <laughs> you Aww. rushed in my cozy. <laughs> this <is> stupid show. <laughs> oh. oh, one of my friendies at Wendy sent this to me years ago. She has no idea. If you send me something and I really love it, believe me, you. Believe me, you. I treasure it. I use it. Uh huh. <sighs> Breathe. Anyhow, so Missy Elliott, who I was telling you, her, she's born in July, like I'm born in July. She's a cancer, like I'm a cancer. We both have thyroid disease and Graves' disease, that thing with the eyeballs. Hers are worse than mine, but, but same difference. Anyway, she's the first female rapper to be inducted into the writer, uh, Songwriters Hall of Fame. Yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, she's nominated, but in my opinion, in my head, she should win. She writes her own songs for other artists as well. Her own songs, but for other artists. Like she wrote for Monica, So Gone, you know that. She wrote for Sierra, One Two Step. Okay, okay. She wrote Aaliyah, One in a Million. This Missy Elliott, she is a national treasure. And the um, Songwriters Hall of Fame inductees will we'll find out next June. In the meantime, Mariah is also one of the nominees. And good, but I don't believe that Mariah writes her own music. I believe Mariah comes in with a last minute. Aww. She writes all those songs. <laughs> all of them, Hero. Honey, like My. she writes the lyrics. <laughs> it's true. Or does she collab? One collaborate? Sweet Day, Vision of Love. Or does she collaborate? Yeah, somebody writes the music, but she writes the lyrics. <laughs> somebody writes the lyrics and then she comes in and changes things. Yeah. <laughs> Cent is still fighting with Ja Rule, which I, 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 can't, I can't understand. I mean, I know the origin of the feud started like in 1999. You know, Ja Rule was, you know, Murder Inc., murder. Hit after hit after hit. And 50 was a nobody trying to get on the come up. They're both from Queens. You know, I'm sure 50 probably reached out to Ja Rule to help him out. And Ja Rule and Murder Inc. were probably like, nope, nope, we're not helping. We was about this life, we got it, you get it. And so anyway, and then 50 went on to be the richer rapper. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like messed up on one hand. On the other hand, two weeks ago, 50, <laughs> Fifty claimed he bought out 200 front row seats to a Jaw Roll concert. I mean, here's my thing. Okay, so the show would look empty. Well, of course, they move the people up to the front and whatnot. Uh, my thing is, this is what you call having too much money and being dumb at the same time. Yes. At one point, Ja Rule claimed 50 Cynthia, is what he called him.
50 reportedly blocked Ja Rule, blocked Ja Rule. So yesterday, Ja Rule posted this photo and wrote the following. Okay, shh, 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 and wrote the following. This will be my last post about 50 Cent. Not once did I see him use his platform of 20 million followers for anything uplifting. Let's stop supporting people who don't support their own. You boot licking, ring kissing coon. They're both too big for this. Like Ja Rule still has a thriving career. Like, like we wanna hear all that Murder Inc. stuff. We wanna hear that stuff. And I hear that 50 is trying to buy the rights to Ja Rule's music so that, so that every time that Ja Rule does a Ja Rule song, 50 gets paid off of it. I'm disgusted because I feel like I was here during both of their births. Do you know what I mean? During both of their births. And the kids are grown enough to see the antics. Ja Rule's got a 20 something year old daughter. They all have grown kids. Like, what, how do you explain to your kids the bitch assness of it all? So last night, uh, apparently 50 had calmed down for a moment and he posted only positive vibes over here. I don't have time for negativity. <laughs> what, until 11 a.m.? <laughs> okay, we'll see. All right, let's move along, please. Were you in the marching band? I was in the marching band. It was such a geek thing to do. I played the clarinet, didn't know how to read music. I can barely walk. Now you know how I am marching. Oh, please. I'm like, what? Okay, left, right, left, right. Wendy, back up. You're messing up formation. We're doing this way and this way. You want me to do this and march at the same time? In the meantime, Things are not funny for four members of a high school marching band in Georgia. Have you heard this story? It's not Georgia, it's right outside of Atlanta in a place called Spellin or something, spelled, spelled Georgia. It's like a half hour outside of Atlanta. In other words, this is part of the big city. This is not country. So here they go during the halftime show. And they spelled out the word coon. They were supposed to be spelling out Bronco because that's the school name, you know? Phone, uh, four Sousa phone players thought it'd be funny to organize together. Two black, uh-huh, one Asian, where do you pop up protesting? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? And one Hispanic. No white people involved. You're off the hook. You're, yeah, you're off the hook. You're off the hook. <laughs> I know, I thought it'd be white, 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 and white. I had no idea. Two blacks involved? I'm so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. And the Hispanic person, what are you doing? And the Asian one, come on. Do better for your people. Don't get involved with this. So the, the school is claiming they had no idea what was going on. And it's very easy when you get in the stands, you know, as a band geek, I know, you get in the stands, you could very easily just change your band cover and, you know, conspire and go on and whatnot. I think all four kids need to be expelled. That's it. Done. Expelled, 
it needs to be on their records, no matter what school they, they um, attend for the rest of high school. It needs to follow them through college and the rest of their lives. That's it, number one. Number two, number two, I think the parents need to be fined heavily because of the kids' stupidity. You learn this from, some, from somewhere. Like, when you put the second O there, don't you say, um, my parents taught me better. As a black person, don't you know, like, we, when we're raised as black people, not for nothing, we learn all the words real quick and what they mean. This, that, and the third, and the, including that word. You learn all the bad words, so when you hear them coming at you, you know how to react. And when you hear, like, I'm embarrassed for black, I'm embarrassed for Hispanic, and I'm surprised at Asian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I got the low clap, I got the low clap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you watch The Real Housewives of Jersey last night? Yeah. I was busy killing the last few hornets. So, no, no, look, no, look, look. Um, I had company earlier this week, or late last week, and the hornets were still around. Two of them, two, not one, two. You know, it's that time of year. You leave the door open, they wanna come in. So they're flying around, but they're not bothering us. One person is allergic to hornets. I'm like, oh my God, please hornets go away. The hornets are leaving us alone. Last night, I walk in the kitchen for my Gatorade. <laughs> Electrolytes. <laughs> um, and I see a hornet walking on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that was my plan. You starve them out. You see, you starve them out. Eventually, yep, walking like a human being. <laughs> he literally was right there. I go over, get the napkin. I pick him up and squeeze him. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> then, and I'm trying to get back to watch New Jersey Housewives, but I see his friend, okay? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> All right, you stay right there. <laughs> walking, like starving, like wings dragging. They're, they're starving. There's nothing to eat. Who wants quinoa? I've had a, <laughs> we, we drop cashews on the floor. They're like, we've had enough cashews, please. Can we have real food? I go get my napkin. I grab the second one and put him in the breast with his friend. And by the time I get to the room, the housewives are on, but everyone's fighting. Like that first, I, I thought I was watching a rerun, so I became disinterested. Did you watch? Clap if you watched. <laughs> okay. Okay, bravo. If you didn't watch, here's what you missed. Apparently, uh, Melissa and Teresa have a huge falling out later this season. Well, when are they not falling out? All right, Dolores, who is the light of Jersey to me, Dolores, half black, half, I don't know, like, it's like she's so swirly to me. She's gorge. She's not half black. But sometimes if you squint, she looks black. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dolores is suffering from empty nest syndrome, and she found out that her ex-husband, Frank, who lives in the house with her, right, they're divorced. Dolores has a boyfriend. The boyfriend doesn't live in the house, but Frank does, separate rooms but that's how they get down. Frank had been, excuse me, a lawyer, was disbarred for spending clients' money on his own businesses. Oh. I'm confused too, I don't get it. Like if you're, if you're disbarred for that, then why don't you go to jail for that? Don't people go to jail for that? Unless maybe he pay, paid back all the money to the people that he stole from. I don't know. I just know they make a really hot couple. And after midnight.
And Teresa, well, she always wanted to uh, apparently bodybuild. And Joe told her no. Listen very closely. It's actually very, very sad. Go ahead. Keep your chest up. Okay. Perfect. Like, I wanted to do this when Joe was home. And he always said to me, you're not doing that. He's like, you're not going on stage with a bikini. Okay. So I said, another year till he comes home. Right. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just doing it. I don't care what he says. Because he wouldn't be home to tell you no. Exactly. So have we told him yet? No. Since Joe's been away, I have gotten used to my independence. All right, last set, girl, nice and strong. I haven't been independent like this. I don't think ever. It's not a reason to watch. It's not a reason to watch. I'm just saying I need more. It's not a reason to watch. Good luck, uh, uh, Teresa. Enjoy your independence and your abs. <laughs> Jersey Housewives airs Wednesday nights on Bravo. Damn it, I missed my star story. I had my pointer and everything. Oh, the pointer. I was do you ready. Do it tomorrow or do you wanna do it today? I wanna do it now. Okay. <laughs> So, once upon a time, there was a man named Future. <laughs> oh God. And Future has a lot of baby's mothers. Case in point. Future allegedly, first of all, is expecting his fifth baby's, uh, ch uh, fifth child with number five. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Right here, uh-huh, right here, uh-huh. Look, he's got a 16-year-old with Jessica who refuses to reveal her identity, which to me is smart. Like, like take the money. I don't want to be part of, you know, the social media stuff. And then India has a nine-year-old with him. Let's move along to pretty Brittany. Brittany's got his five-year-old son. And of course, future junior, is with Sierra, but Sierra fled the scene and Future Junior now has a new father. So the baby's mother, mother number five, okay, has an older child, by the way, with Bow Wow. Oh, please, you see how the circle of squill swarms? I, 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 I don't understand. It's like there are only five people in Hollywood and they all mess around with each other and they all have each other, other's babies. Anyway, earlier this year, Future reportedly dumped number five to get back with number three. Oh. Now you will follow this sloppy story, please. <laughs> However, over the weekend, Future was back together with number five. Oh, oh, oh yes. Well, they were at the gender party where they revealed. And so now, yes, uh-huh, that's number five. Mm -hmm. And so now, number three is trying to save face. Number three. Brittany, number three, posted, people do what they have to do to protect their assets. Too much money at risk. So she's, I guess, one of those lie in the woods girl and will take anything for the, the dollar. Just, you know, a ride or die, really keep quiet. Future. So he posted yesterday, oh, you thirsty thirst. No, you're thirsty, Future. Like, like where are your condoms? Like, <laughs> just saying. And now we can go on with the rest of our show. <laughs> Up next, Oscar winning actress Christine Lottie is here. So grab a snack and come on back. <laughs>